So this next topic here gets into the decomposition of the security roles and responsibilities. And we talked about everyone being responsible for security earlier, but really when the stuff hits the fan, senior management is always ultimately responsible for security. And usually when something happens within the organization, usually senior management's head is the first to roll. Specifically, when we get into talking about some of these different roles and responsibilities, the senior management would be people like the chief executive officer, the chief financial officer, the chief information officer. You need the C-level people within the organization. Those are the people that are ultimately responsible for protecting the organization, especially in the security mindset. Now, specifically, when we get into some of these others, like data owner, that is a member of management who is in charge of a specific subset of information. The custodian is usually one that we see on the exam, and that is a person that is responsible for maintaining and protecting the data. The auditor, who is someone who periodically checks to make sure that everyone is doing what they are supposed to be doing. We put controls in place to keep the honest person honest. Well, that's what an auditor does for us in the IT security world. Some of the different types of security roles and responsibilities within organization come down to change control and change management. Specifically, if we get into the separation of duties, change request systems, configuration management, and then policies, procedures, and processes, they all contribute to helping define what the security roles and responsibilities are within the organization.